Hello YouTube viewers, uh, welcome to our new greenhouse. We are in the course of building an aquaponic system. We are a little bit late in the season, but there were delivery issues with the greenhouse, but it now it's finished and we are really happy with it. And over the weekend Niels and I built a biofilter and we already started it for the biofilm to develop on the filter media. That will take a while, so that was really important that we start the filter right now while we are building up the rest of the system. This is the fish tank, the standard IBC, and yesterday the electricity got installed and here we have this filter running. Nothing special really, it's a filter box with three different kind of filter mats. Uh, on the left side you see the coarse, in the middle it's middle grade, and on the right side it's fine grade. And then there in the corner you see Biohome, I bought from a guy named Pontguru. Hello Pontguru! And uh, that's a sintered sand material that has a really large surface area and uh, that will do most of the conversion, I hope. And there in the corner you see a small pump that we also got from the same guy that has a little controller here for air suctioning. And I will take it out so you can see it a little bit better. It's really a small pump, but and it doesn't make a lot of uh, height and pumping. But you can see in the in the pipe that it is sucking in. Well, now it's underwater again. That it's uh, sucking in air through this little uh, pipe, and so it oxygenates the water. And um, later we will have a cyclone filter. Uh, that removes the coarse uh, stuff and then this is the biofilter that hopefully re will remove all the chemicals, all the nitrite and ammonia and convert it to nitrate. And this uh, biohome media, Pontguru says that inside, over the time, it will build up an anaerobic um, colony that denitrates. Which is actually something we don't really want in, a, in an aquaponic system because we want all the nitrates to be in the grow beds available for the plants. But I thought that maybe it's a good idea to have a, a nitrate consumer just in case the nitrates get too high and to stabilize the whole system. To have one consumer that is not related to the plants, uh, that is not related to plant growth or anything else. Just in case maybe when you start and you don't have any plants yet or the plants are too small to consume all the nitrates. But uh, as Pontguru said it will take at least six months for the anaerobic bacteria to build up so I think um, we will not really be able to measure these effects. So right now we are circling from, from the clean side to the well dirty side. Um, later we will use this circulation pump to give the uh, cyclone filter an extra swirl. We are using the overflow of the IBC, uh, pipe it into the cyclone filter and then from there with gravity to, the, to this biofilter and then from there to the sump tank. And um, I thought that when we put this uh, small uh, circulation pump in there, we can also aerate the cyclone filter and give it an, a little bit of an extra swirl so that it works properly. So this is the biofilter so far and I think I will keep uh, making uh, a couple more videos when we build some more stuff. Goodbye!